As I say, I am actually the one who stopped the manufacture of aluminum aircraft. Well, they also killed off a bunch of people that were making, they were putting weapons and they are dropping bombs from the aircraft. So I was like, all right, that's it. Um, and I made rules for it and actually even stopped the production of aircraft because of the fact that so many people were just, you know, they would buy a Cessna and then they would, or they'd steal a Cessna and they would go over somebody's house and drop a bomb and be like, yeah, we killed them. You know, and usually they'd hit the neighbor's house or something else like that. It was a real big problem between 1920 and 1940. A bunch of yellers and motorcycle people basically flying over some rich person's house and then dropping a bomb on them, you know, or something like that, or dropping a package out that would blow up a house. And then Richard Nixon or whatever would be like, yeah, yeah, that was a terrorist. Yeah, we got him. You know, and basically it's... Um, you know, it's Nixon lying like crazy, Jimmy Carter lying like crazy. And uh, motorcycle groups, guerrilla, muscle mound men running around, beating people up, JFK, Richard Nixon, and basically Rodney Briley being in control of a Harvard, or, I mean, he was in control of the Washington building or whatever, or a supposed school person, you know, and whatever, you know, elite commander or something like that, of Richard Nixon or something, I don't really know. Basically just another group that was idiots and young and stupid. And anyway, um, uh, and pretty much, you know, I mean, then they built a bunch of golf clubs, you know, trying to make money, but nobody actually wanted to go to any of the golf clubs, golf courses, and... And the prices on the golf courses couldn't even afford to pay for the employees going to the golf courses. And realistically, it was just a way to embezzle money or whatever. Anyway, you find out that basically, you know, that's why they call it the skunk works. It's saying that shit works and or bullshit works and um, and just lie your ass off. And pretty much that was Richard Nixon's and JFK's M.O. And then kill everyone that that would know any different. That's what they did. That's what the Yankees did. They loaded people up into train cars that knew any different and then drove them off into 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 barns, I think, and then basically gassed them. They locked the I think what they did, they actually found the train cars. They would lock the outside of the train cars with the people inside and then they would take them into a barn and basically gas them. And then they would have another crew go in and clean clean out the train cars. Yeah, anyway, I think it was Barnes. They found it. They found the gas sites where they were gassing people, because it had the residue of the of the chemical they were using. Nothing more than a motorcycle gang or JFK or Richard Nixon. They tried exposing them to radiation too, I think, or something like that. But they lived. Anyway, there's records on it throughout the planet, and basically, yeah, you know, so. Anyway, JFK basically went to, went, to, went to the Pentagon, because the Pentagon, anyone could go there and walk in before. And he was pulling records and files and this and that, and it took him about 15 years to come up with his plan. And then he, they started acting it with Richard Nixon and, J, and Jimmy Carter and just a bunch of military people that ex-military people that had been kicked out or dishonorably discharged that were a problem. And it goes into Rodney Briley trying to pretend or do aircraft or whatever, but he really didn't or something like that. And basically a bunch of lies. And I'm over it. You know, the disrespect or they would consider it the, the disgrace of a nation. There's actually a show on it called The Disgrace of a Nation, which is pretty much how the United States disgraced itself to the planet and to the galaxy.